All right, going over to Rafiki's Planet Watch. Era por donde por allá, Claude. Little train ride to the next area. On the train. Some of the animals are kept. See warthog and hoof stock. Checking out the place. <laughs> it seems like we come into those scale stuff while we wait for the next train. Additional animal holdings. There is a rhino. Rhino building for the elephants. Oh, elephant. More additional enclosures right down the road. We are heading up to a bunch of reach our one and only destination. Rafiki's planet watch. So please remain. And there's Rafiki. Welcoming guests to his planet watch. Uh, Emperor Tamarin. There's little fuzzy things right there. Another one in the back. Moving around. Joffrey's Marmoset. There's, there's three in this cage. Got one cute little fuzzy one there. There's the other one on the bar, moving around. Hi! Hello! There he is, moving around. A cotton top Tamarin. Now this one's in the back. I'm just trying to get a little better view. Yeah, he's moving around. Moving around a little bit. We got a golden lion Tamarin. Here in the back. Let's see if you turn around. There we go. That's a cute little guy. And there's another one right here. Look. Aww. Aww. Hi, babies. Now, this is all about conservation, giving people ideas on how to build appropriate areas for wildlife in their yards such as butterfly gardens or if you live in an area where there are more larger wild animals such as deer and stuff like that you can have a better experience seeing them if you have a good habitat for them I'll do that. thank you all sorts of different things that you can build. Bird feeders. Being Florida, a lot of the northern birds come here into winter and have their young. And in the spring, they fly back. See squirrels and snakes. A lot of people don't like snakes, but snakes are very important for the ecosystem. They keep predators away, such as invasive rodents. There's Rafiki pointing the way, going to the right. You have enough opportunity to make your money. 
It's a great example of a birdhouse. Give our feathered friends someone to stay. Inside the building there are interactive exhibits. There's also the pet hospital for all the animals at the park. They also have animal demonstrations such as birds and some insects and other assorted critters, lizards and snakes. Monkey-tailed skink. Yes. Cool. This is one of the areas we test blood and other sort of scientific stuff to help keep the animals healthy and safe. This is where they do the animal surgeries. No surgeries at the moment. So this is a still picture, so nobody's moving. Some amphibians. She pretends to help animals in her little animal lab. One time the animals ate Oh, look at that. Froggy. There's a glass. That is a very colorful looking frog. There's also one here on the glass. Let me back up a little bit so I can find them. There he goes. There he is. She right there. Get a better. Sorry. I'm trying to get a better view of the froggy on the glass. It's really hard to show up, but. He's like right there. There's a couple heckles leaf tailed geckos. That's a front side view. Now these yeah, things are able to blend in. If you look at them, they resemble a twig or a piece of wood. So if they were on these branches, you would hardly be able to, be able to see them. There's an omen spiny tailed lizard. Isn't he cute? And plant leaf chameleons. Now he's right back here. You see him right there on the branch. That's him right there. Your desert rosy boa. Right there. It's a Chinese crocodile lizard. Second one here in the water. Little head sticking up so it can breathe. There's a black tree monitor. It's a greater siren. It's this long, long thing along the back. It's a Puerto Rican boa. See it right here all curled up. Just a nutrition center gives you an example of all the different foods that they feed to the many animals they have on the premises. Charts. This is an educational exhibit area for the kids. Children get a chance to see Doc McStuffins. And people also get a chance to see Rafiki himself. The Out in the Wild gift shop is right outside of the main building. All sorts of stuffed animals. We got a petting zoo. You can see all of the fuzzy animals, such as sheep, 
and cows, and even donkeys. Look at them, donkeys. They are grubbing, so they don't want to be petted at the moment. Got lots of sheep and goats. All like to be petted. People get little brushes to brush the animals, which he most certainly would enjoy. This guy scratched himself. And there's also an alpaca. And the head looks a lot like a camel. A bit smaller, of course, but the resemblance is uncanny. Hi. <gasps> Even got piggies. Look at the piggies. Look at the little piggy wiggies. <gasps> Look at them. Aw. He's so cute. And the piggy over here is sleeping. Just chilling. There's someone brushing them. Anytime you interact with animals, it's very important to make sure you wash your hands. This keeps you from getting sick. So they always have hand washing stations, paper towels, available for people. And in this case, they have the automatic hand dryers. Alright, one last look at the affection section. This is the petting zoo. Gonna be taking the train back now.